Hello, Geo Tagger. I'm Darrell Insano, your virtual Geo Referencing Assistant for today. I'm here to guide you through the Earth's a Geo Referencing platform. Whether you are a beginner or experienced user, I'm here to assist you in Geo Referencing journey. Let's get started. The Operations Management Information Section, or OMIS, has developed our space georeferencing platform that shall be used to upload and extract georeferencing data such as farm parcel record of the farmer and its GPS track points. Due to the ever-changing updates and technological advancements, the RSBC wanted to create a new platform for the secondary component that will be more user-friendly and at the same time gives more data integrity. This platform aims to visualize agricultural lands in the Philippines and provide reliable data in relevance to farm parcel records and farming activities of farmers. And for the runs, they shall be linked to the FFRS for linking of farmers' record to their farm parcel georeferencing records. With the help of RFAs or georeferencers, the platform aims to give reliable data and map all the RSBSA registered farm parcels. RSBSA GRF app users and rules. So the platform's features a hierarchical level of access which starts from uploader, next is regional admin, the super admin, lastly, and the developer. The data entry starts with the uploaders, which are two referencer that will upload the acquired data, which includes the JPX files. The regional admin, RSBSA Regional IT staff are tasked to check and view the reports and summary together with, with the upload JPX files submitted by the uploader or geotaggers. The super admin are assigned to national users or RSBSA central office also tasked to review the reports and summary submitted. The developers or the OMIS staff are the ones that are responsible for the whole platform. Platform system includes maintenance and updates. At the login interface, the first things that will come up in the usernames, which give us the options of changing the usernames preferred by the user. Then, after entering the preferred username, you are prompted to also change your password based on your preference. Important reminders, the UGO referencing platform features strictly no account sharing with the extensive security that uses OTP through Gmail authentication. Uploading and saving of JPX files. For the uploading and saving of JPX files, and the georeferencing platform only accepted JPX files that are generated from the GPS device. For the VARM region, are permitted to upload KML or KMZ files. Restrictions and uploading and savings of JPX files. JPX files that are less than 500 square meter will not be uploaded. Or same with the RCM protocol. Multiple intersection points, JPX files that intersect more than once or intersect with other JPX files cannot be uploaded in the georeferencing platform. To fix the problem in JPX files, we can use Basecamp to edit. Steps and multiple intersection points. First, select and double click the JPX file. It will prompt the attributes tables of the JPX track. Second, Find and determine the necessary points in the JPEX files. Third, select an unnecessary points by clicking it in the attributes table. Fourth, right click then select delete or move the unnecessary points. For the unclosed polylines, or JPEX files are also required 
to editing and fixing the Garmin base cam. So fix and close polylines. First, select and double click the JPX file. It will prompt the attribute tables in the JPX track. Second, determine where to add points. Third, in the attribute table, right click the points where you want to insert a new point. Fourth, right click the point, then select insert into tracks. It will then add a new point on the desired location. Points that exceeds 10 meters between start points and intersections cannot be uploaded in the georeferencing platforms. To fix is to edit in the Garmin Basecamp. To fix the points that exceed 10 meters, first, select and double click the JPEX file. It will prompt the attribute table in the JPEX track. Second, in the attribute tables, determine the points that exceed in the starting point and endpoint intersection. Third, right click then select delete to remove the exceed points. Fourth, repeat step 3 until the exceeding points are removed. Overlapping JPEX files, JPEX tracks that exceed 20% overlapping cannot be uploaded in the platform. It is to ensure there's no duplicate tracks and the following are basic protocols. This is the georeferencing platform. First, you can log in your username and password and send OTP. Then wait your OTP in your email and Type your OTP and select Login. In your Upload menu, Georeference Files, you can drag and drop files. And select your JPX files for ready to uploading. And wait for loading. And you can see the left corner is ready for uploaded and set RSBC or system generated number. You can see here the left corner, the color red is overlapping or already uploaded and RSBC georeferencing platform. And the color green is ready to set the new file for ready to upload it. Set and when write your first base age or system generated number and click submit and wait for loading. As you can see, the firmware details together with the name, date of birth, address, and first base age parcel and select parcel, um, parcel location. Then the verified area and parcel name. Write the parcel name. Commodity rice palai. Plantation schedule. Um, interview the farmer on what plantation schedule. And click add commodity. Uh, as you can see, the commodity is rice palai and schedule January to December and click okay and click save um, the registration or first base number is already success then close then set another first base number As you can see, same process and parcel name. Write the parcel name of the parcel and also the commodity, rice palai, and planting schedule. 
then click add commodity then save then the parcel is success and already verified the color green is overlapping 100% is, it means it's already um, uploaded in RSBC referencing platform. Then click report and select verified parcel list. Uh, makikita dito ang lahat ng mga uploaded na geotagger together with the GRF ID, last name, first name, middle name, and last um, sino ang uploader. Then you can access them to delete if, if um, nagkamali kayo sa pag-upload. Then also, farm parcel, um, select province and regions, commodity, rice palay, and select municipality. Then makikita dito lahat ng mga uploader ng geotagger. Then may details na din po ni farmer. Kapag na-upload na. Yan lang po at maraming salamat po.